Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Call of the Wild the Angler. And it's my second part for my leveling guide and in between a couple of tips that I want to give you guys. So it's from level 7 to 14. I'm already level 14. It goes really quick. Uh, I need to say leveling uh, in this game. And what I'm going to show you guys is four bass spots. So that's a smallmouth bass and a large mount bass. I still need to get the gold one and a diamond one. But I got four spots for you guys. I put nice markers on it. So I went around the map. Uh, I took a challenge two on the board. Be sure that you start taking that because you need to have the rating. So I did this challenge. So let's have a look. It's a journal. So here, so I took Diamond Speak Fishing Challenge Bronze 2, catch the fish at the marked location, and I needed to catch a bronze rank smallmouth bass. That's one of the positions, it works really well. Uh, so be sure that you pick it up and that you do it, because you will need to have the rating for your gear. Uh, there is gear that you can only buy if your rating is high enough. So what did I do too? So I went a little bit further with Academy 2. I think I went all the way to Advanced and there is only one more that I need to do and I need to catch a gold or a higher one and then the Academy is done. Be sure that you do it, you get a lot of stuff from it. Uh, I even got an extra slot in my uh, equipment bag, in my inventory, in my tackle box, so just do it. It will guide you around. I did it too. It's really well executed. So what do you need to do? So you need to do not a lot. You can still fish with the same setup that you fished before. I was really amazed with this setup. With the crankbait I landed the silver tiger muskie. It was almost 7000 score. Because in this game if you fight a fish longer. You get more score and more experience. I got a video somewhere about it. I need to go a little bit more into depth. Because I am going to have a look that I can optimize the leveling. Because what I see is that you can land with a very low setup decent fish. So that musky silver musk was 4.7 kg and I landed it with this setup. It took some time but maybe it's worth to go a little bit lower on online, maybe I can go now with the one kilogram line on the bass, and that's maybe more productive for experience. I don't know, I need to test it a little bit more, but what you need to do is this. You need to buy a popper. You start with the hook size 6, I think you can go one higher to 5 if you want to go a little bit on the bigger fish. Uh, but 6 works really well. I think you can buy it at level 8. Just get it done. That's all what you need to do. Not more. Then for the positions. No. One thing first. I'm going to show you guys one thing first. I'm going to talk about the threats on the fish. Because that's important. So if you go to the handbook. And if you see this is a target fish. Large mount bass. And small mount bass. If you push F you will see that they are sun lovers. They are more active after the sun rises. Uh, so they are not biting at the night. Uh, I think that they bite the best in the morning. I didn't fish in the morning for them. Maybe therefore I'm not getting too many golds. Uh, I, I didn't even get one gold on the four positions. So be sure that you check that out. It's just the same for the, the large mount. So if you check the large mount, it's just the same. So they are sitting with each other the entire time. That's normal. So you can see it here. Be sure that you check it out. That's a little bit of tip that I want to give you guys. That you know when they are active. When they bite really well. Because that's in the game. It's uh, If you don't see that. And you start fishing at the night. You will not catch a lot of bass. That's always what you need to see. The positions. So I put some nice markers on it. So you start here in the starting area. And then you need to come here. So I got here smallmouth bass and a largemouth bass, both silver. There is a very big lily bed. So I think that's the key, that's normal. If I go for bass, I search for uh, rock formations. And I search in a lot of vegetation. Here is a very big lily bed. It was a very good spot. Produced a lot of smallmouth bass. And large mount bass. Then the next spot was over here. Once again, very big lily bed. Silver again. 
I think probably on all of them you can get gold, so I'm not sure about diamonds. But this is a good, very good spot. Uh, this was a spot, by the way, from the, the mission. So I needed to come here. Then this one was a really good spot too. This is totally full once again with lilies. And then here on the bridge was a really good spot too. I see always when I look to the streams of expensive world, I see them always fishing here and catching a lot of fish. I don't know why. Uh, because there is no vegetation. But it seems this is like a spawning point. A super spawning point for pests. So... Uh, there is not, nothing here, but I came here too for the academy and everything is here. I took a sturgeon, I got a channel catfish. I don't like that much, I don't like that too much because it's immersive breaking, but I just going to share with you guys the spot. How do you need to do it? Go with 40% on your drag. And you need to go with the speed too, that's more than enough, uh, because normally best. You see it in the thread too, they are very aggressive. And what you need to do is you need to push control because we are going to do a twitching. Speed 2, control and twitching. So here we go. That's all what you need to do and let's have a look that we can catch one. Because it's possible now I'm going to check uh, for uh, after this video for the next part. I'm going to check maybe that I can get a little bit another setup. Not really because I needed it. But I want to go with the casting setup. And maybe I can go to 4-5 kg. And then probably already can go to the Northern Pike. Uh, so that's how fast. I was really amazed that it goes this fast uh, with the gear. I never thought that I can land the Silver Musky with... This is a starting setup, you know. I got spooled too on that position. Because it's a position uh, that I showed you guys in my uh, Diamond Northern Pike video. And my uh, Musky video. So I got spooled. So I think probably the, the gold and the diamonds of the Silver Musky and Northern Pike will spool me. And that's normal I think. Because there, and there is another fish. It's unbelievable. I cannot understand how this is possible. It's like a spawn point that they made here. It's every cast that I throw in the water here, I got a bass. <laughs> so, it's like fishing in an aquarium. This. Here is another one. Let's secure the cast. Or the catch, I need to say. This is a bronze one once again. So one more guys, so you know everything and then I'm going to end the video. So the, the big problem that I'm going to have is so uh, that, that the learning curve or that the equipment does not matter that much. But that's a very big problem in a leveling guide because I got the impression that the moment that I go now with the double line or something that I can probably catch everything in this area except the lake trout. I'm not sure how big the burbot gets or the walleye but that's a pity. That's a pity in my eyes that it goes this easy. But yeah I cannot do a lot about it. That was it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.